talk about uh, Kona uh, last, but uh, first is uh, next last is. Yeah. Woo. Woo. So I'll do a little bit of background. Um, I think I had gone to the restroom and I, I thought I was being blamed initially for getting her to go to Ironman Maryland. But actually, in 2011, um, we were at Marianne's house having a little drink or two, and she is trying to decide what something phenomenal we could do for her 50th birthday. So she dreams of this um, New Orleans 70.3. So that's he had this to be the day of my birthday. Yeah, the day of my 50th birthday. Yeah. The same day. Right. So, yeah, just a coincidence. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Really. No, really, it's very planned. You would have to know her. So everything is planned. So anyway, so that was in November, and we had never, I had only been doing triathlons a few years and just just sprint distance. I, we'd never done the 70.3. So um, anyway, we train. It's in April. We, we get through and we accomplish that, only to come to New Orleans and find out that it, it turns into a duathlon because the water was so bad. So um, sort of like whoever said it where something was canceled, I think, Greg, you said that, you know, we felt like we hadn't really accomplished the goal of the 70.3. So we signed up and it took us about five more to figure out that we were ready for, or we thought we were ready for a, a full Ironman. So anyway, signed up for Maryland, trained all summer long, and the original date was October 3rd, and I'm sure many of you know that it got canceled on October 3rd. And so after training all summer long, getting ready, riding up there, having Melissa call us, turn around, we're not going to have it, was kind of a bummer. But anyway, we, we rode back on October 17th, and uh, the weather was not a lot better that day. So we had... We forgot in between we did a 17.3. Yeah, in between the two weeks we did do a half iron, just to stay fresh. And so... Um, the, the swim was almost canceled again the morning of October 17th. They had decided that the Coast Guards had decided that the weather was too bad. It was in the Chalk Tank River, so the, the name of the river sort of kind of gives you an idea of what the water is actually like. It's very choppy. And um, they changed it from canceling to a 1.2. So everybody, you know, still you're thinking your first Ironman and they're going to change all of the distances and, and everything, and it kind of deflates you. It did me. But anyway, they changed it to two miles and started this at 7.30. So... I personally did not like the swim. She loved the swim, but I'm not an ocean swimmer, so it, it was not a fun swim for me. But we made it through the swim. I think I spent 20 minutes in T1 because it was so cold. And uh, got 17. Was it 17 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so 17 minutes, changed clothes, got on the bike. The bike was pretty windy, all flat. And then got off the bike, got on the I actually felt really good. Gina told me to eat cold potatoes the whole time, and I did. And I really never felt starch? tired. Yeah, <laughs> never felt tired. No goose, no candy bars, no Cokes, nothing like that. And the worst thing for me is, is the run. I was just dreading running 26 miles. I don't, I'm not a runner at all. But um, I finished the marathon part about maybe... 30 minutes slower than, than the marathon that I actually trained for. I did the Fleet Feet training program and went through it and finished it in 540, but it did take me like 615 to finish the marathon. But I was very proud of that. Awesome. And um, I think it was I finished in 1426. So I was happy. Although I don't feel like I actually accomplished a full because they cut the swim short, you know, by like 0.4. So I've signed up for Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs>